In this series, we're developing a front-end for a CRUD application with React. End goal is to build an app where users can store their RPG characters, edit and share them with other players. Check the description for a link to current commit on GitHub repo. Hi, I am Smok, a senior full stack developer, and today we'll create a snazzy UI using Material Design Framework. If you don't know yet, Material Design is a UI system built by Google and friends for Android. Later, it found its way to web and desktop apps. It's pretty, it has a great collection of components, a lot of support and documentation, which you can find in the link from description. Oh, and also, there is a convenient node package for React. Let's open a console and install it. npm install at material-ui slash core. Right, there we have it. It's installed right now. And we can go ahead and start our server. To use recommended font, we'll have to add it in our index.html file in the head section. Let's go ahead and do it just now. The font is called Roboto. Now we are ready to import components from material modules. As you know, we are building a web page to create and present game character profiles. What views are we going to need there? Of course, we are going to need a landing page, a character list, some sort of detailed view of character, and a management view. All of these should be wrapped in a common route that would provide navigation bar, default team, headers, and footers or whatnot. Let's start with that. I'll place this in my app.js. First, we want to make sure that no matter what browser is used, all paddings, margins, and such are the same. To do it, we can use the CSS baseline component. Let's import it from Material UI. Add it to the page. And for now, we are going to remove the base um, styles provided by Create React App. I'm going to just simply clean all the CSS files here. So this is going to go bye-bye, this one as well. And I guess that's it. Let's talk about the first uh, Material UI component. Wrapping the content in a container allows us to limit how wide the web page will be and have the same margins on both sides. and prettify it with prettier. That's nice. And let's see what happens in our Chrome. Well, there is a little bit of a difference. Let's inspect it. Ah, you see, there is the container. So that's good, we have provided margins. Now for the navigation. In navbar, we'd like to import app bar, toolbar and button. Now we can wrap our router links in Material UI elements. So this will become app bar, like so. This will be our toolbar, and these will become our buttons. Button. So app bar provides background and shading, Toolbar will arrange elements in a single horizontal row, and buttons, well, they provide animation effect when clicking. To use uh, the link component from the router internally, we can pass the component prop to each button. And let's have a look at our Chrome. All right. As you can see, it's already looking way better. 
we are almost done framing the page. I'd like to set up my own colors here and there, so let's add some custom styling. To do it in a single place, I'll create a new component that will wrap my entire app. It's going to be called Team.js. I don't want to create everything from scratch, so I'll use Material UI Color web page to come up with something nice. There is a playground that we are going to use. We can see two most important colors. We'll use this to create a MUI theme. So I'm going to go with primary like that and shade, well, this one. So this is going to be copied, go over to my Atom and paste it. So now let's import create MUI theme, theme provider from Material Core Styles. And now we also want chosen colors from core colors. So we have purple and amber. And from colors. So that's good. Now we are going to create our theme. Create my theme and this will be our argument. Like so. And now I'll export a default function, which will wrap all children in a team provider component with my custom team. This way I can keep all the details in this single file. Okay, let's wrap all of my app in this team provider. So I'm going to import it first. Like so, and now I can use it. All right, and let's see what's happening on our React page. Boom. Well, it's purple. Okay, so that's clearly working. Um, another customization I want to make here is the background color or this part. Uh, I want it to be dark, but the actual page, which is uh, the center over here, should stay white. Let's start by setting default background color in my theme. And I need to wrap it in a string. Okay, and if I save it and go to Chrome, okay, everything is dark but I want this part, this whole part to be light. How will I do it? Solution is quite simple. We'll wrap everything in a paper component. So let's go over to our app, maybe go in here and import paper. Like so, save it, format. That's nice. So um, let's go ahead and we are going to pass a hash. This hash will contain min height and this will be equal, this will equal 95 vertical height at least. So after saving this, I can see in my Chrome that my web page is actually white and it has this nice a white background. We completed our basic framing for the views. Now let's move over to our landing page. This is going to be really simple. I just want a hello message, a subtitle, maybe over a nice elevated card. Let's create new file and call it landing. Okay, so for this I'm going to import typography card and card content. And I'll add two typography components. Just remember that if you need to learn anything about the details of Material UI, you can always go to material-ui.com and there is a great reference over there so we can learn about any single component that we would like to use. I recommend you have a look how you should use all of the components in detail. 
Now I can import it in my app.js and update my route. Because I want to show the landing page only when my path is exactly a single slash, I have to add an exact prop. Otherwise, it would match anything that starts with a slash. Let's go to our Chrome, delete everything and see. Here is our hello world and it's on the elevated card exactly as we wanted. Next view will be a list of characters. Again, we are going to create a new component and repeat what we have already learned. Let's make a new component list. And in here, we are going to use a grid component from Material UI to line up our cards. So grid is used in two contexts, grid container, like so, and grid item. Grid container is used to wrap all the items so we can specify spacing prop on it maybe some padding as well. All right, so React grids have 12 columns and when we add a new item, we need to specify how many uh, columns this item will occupy. Again, this is a per item setting. So if you want to have four items in a single row, each of them should occupy, well, three columns. For our web page to be responsive, we need to specify how many columns an item will occupy for each screen size. There are five props that denote breakpoints, like t-shirt sizes, XS, SM, MD, LG, and XL. Anything set on SM will apply to small screens and wider unless it is overridden by a larger breakpoint. I'm just gonna simply provide SM and we'll have four such items. For now we'll be fine with dummy text. I'm going to copy the exemplary card from Material UI page. So this one, I'm going to click down here, show the source and this bit will make do. So I'm just gonna copy all that, create a new component in my Atom. That should be fine. And I can use it in my list. Let's go ahead and replace this. And of course, import it. Quickly add this as a route to my app list like so and let's have it here oops yeah slash list of course only thing that i want to change before uh, checking that is actually adding a domain to this character cards because there's an image so let's go ahead and add this and after saving we can go to our chrome and see that we have four cards in our application. All we need to do is to actually update all the links uh, at our menu, at our navigation bar, and we are good. This is all for today. We learned how to build an elegant material design based UI. We went through layout, inputs, navigation, surfaces, and styles. In the next video, we'll talk about hooks and displaying actual data fetched from API. This will be necessary to actually display our character cards. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss it. Cheers.